Hi, scholars. Welcome to Tuesday. We are at our lesson for today. Still the month of December 12th, the 8th, 2020. We are today on lesson number 46. Our first word today is the word do. Which might seem like a strange word to be doing in third grade, but you will see why when we get to the next word. So do. Pause for a moment. Analyze do. All right. How do you think you did? Let's check. How many syllables in do? Correct. One. Do, d, u, ah, oh, ooh. Did you get the three marking on do? Third sound of the ah, oh, ooh. If you didn't, please do it now. No rules in do. So our next word has do in it, but it's the word does. Scholars, we're going to go through this whole word right now because he who does it alone probably would make a mistake. How many syllables in does? Correct. One syllable. D. And then we have a, uh, which is very strange because we have the multiple letter phonogram, O, the O of toe. But it's not saying what we would expect it to say. Right? So we're going to underline O, the O of toe, but we're also going to double squiggly it just to help us remember that it's not saying O, like toe. It's breaking the rule, isn't it? D uh final sound z nope did you catch that marking two above the z d uh z so this also is the spelling of the word does like the female deer right doe a deer a female deer but that would be saying O, oh, the O of toe, does. But this is today the spelling word does. And this does not say O, oh, the O of toe. So we have a rule breaker for our O, oh, the O of toe. Rule breaker does. So do and does. Surprisingly, scholars, does is often a very misspelled word in third grade. So study that word to make sure it does not get misspelled in your writing. Does. Then, scholars, our next word. Well, let me introduce the next word with Dory. A way out. There's gotta be a way out. Look, here's something. Escape. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word escape. So, if you followed along with that, our next word is escape. Not escape. 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 You cannot escape this spelling lesson with Mr. Long. Escape. Pause for a moment. Analyze escape. How many syllables in escape? Right. Two. E. S. Finger space. Cape. Escape. Vowel saying its name sound. Consonant, silent E. Which rule is that, scholars? Correct. The VCE rule. The villainous E. 
who hopefully will not escape once he is captured. Escape. Escape. That brings us to our last required word. Our last required word today is the word since. It has been quite a while since we have been in the building learning together. Since. Pause for a moment and analyze since. Since is a one syllable word. S I'm noticing scholars, right? Does, second sound of s, -s escape, first sound of s, -s and since, first sound of s, -s, s, I, n, s, two above the s, right? This is the k, s. Here it's saying k, es k, k, escape. Here it's saying s, second sound of the k, s. But you're probably noticing we don't yet have the dictionary spelling of since. Which silent final E? Did you say CG rule three? That would be correct. The C before an E says S. It's the magician, right? Poof! Making the C say its second sound of s. A C before an E says s. Since. And our bonus word for today is the word Chile. Chile, remember, is a country in South America. Yesterday I showed you on our little map, right? Chile, this long country right here, right along the Pacific Ocean, the west coast of South America, Santiago, is the capital of Chile. Do you remember any of the other ones we've done? Quito, Ecuador, right? Lima, Peru, Bogota, Colombia, Caracas, Venezuela, Brasilia, Brazil, Buenos Aires, Argentina. We're moving along quite nicely in South America, aren't we? So today's bonus word, Chile. Chile. Then, if you would like to, scholars, <coughs> the optional enrichment, if you'd like, from what did you escape? Right, I escaped from blah, 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 right? What did you escape from? Miss Lund's dungeon? The evil glare of Mr. Long? The clutches of Mr. Ritz? From what did you escape? Hmm. Remember, that part is optional. And if you'd like to send it to your teacher, you may. The required part, answer those five questions about today's spelling words in the Google form. Click Submit at the bottom of the form. Send those answers to your teacher. Thanks for joining me with today's spelling.